I'm biracial and I'm proud I'm biracial and I proclaim it loud I'm biracial, no hate can keep me down No matter what my haters say I proudly rep both of my races today I'm biracial and I'm proud I'm biracial and I proclaim it loud I'm biracial and no hate can Salam alaikum you two was cracking it's your angry biracial back with another video. Y'all know how I do. I gotta keep my foot on the necks of these modern males 24-7. Today has been a long, long day for me. It is hot and humid as hell in Ohio. And I spent most of the day in my garage packing. So I'm ready to call tonight. But before I do, I wanted to do this really good show for y'all. So as usual, so grab your favorite drinks and popcorn and let's dive right in. Man, this dude been going all over in there, my sister, man. I finally found this dude. Hey, man. Amber. 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 Man, man, look at this dude right here, man. Let me go leave my mama with my little sister, dog. Look. Look. Hey. Hey. Amber. Why you even Let me in, man. Let me in. Dude, why you do? Why you with my sister, dog? How you gonna leave, you gonna leave my mama for my sister, dog? Go on here, come, come on, you come on about here. Come on, open, open this gate, man. Come on, come on, open this door, open this door. You too old, you's a, you's a kid, man. You the whole kid, man. You the kid. Dude, you raised me. You raised me. I raised you, and I raised you. How you gonna raise? How you gonna raise my sister? Take up, bro, bro, bro. Look, we got nothing to talk about, man. You come on, come on, dog. Come on, Amber. You coming home? You coming home? Open it, open, dog. Open this gate. Open this gate. Open this gate. My mama just, my mama sent me over here. Found out where y'all at. Open the door, man. All over the internet, all over the internet, all over the internet, my sister going crazy, making my mama look crazy. No, 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 come on, Amber, 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 get your stuff, you better go. Come on, Amber, Amber, you a kid, boy. Amber, you a you a kid. Why you a kid? Why not you? Amber, Amber, listen, Amber, get your stuff. Mama, mama, call her back. She about she about to come home now. She about to come home. She grown. Eighteen, she grown. It's legal, right? Now you can do. Look, open the gate. Open the gate. Open the gate. Open the gate. Dog, she that's a child, man. That's a child. That's a child. You gotta be ashamed of yourself. Why your sister is a woman? Look, look at this. Man, this man, this man, this man raised me. Left my mama that's with right. my little sister. That's right, and she grown. Dog, open the gate. Grown. Open the gate. Amber. She need to Amber. Tell your mama to hang up. Hold, get your mama. Oh, man, you tripping? Get your mama off the phone. Amber, open, open the gate. Amber, open the gate. So let me get this right. That modern male was or maybe is their stepfather and raised them both since they were children, then left their mother to get with his stepdaughter that he raised. That's just crazy and predatory. I can only imagine the grooming that that piece of shit put that young girl through. He has been abusing that poor girl her entire life. So many of these modern males are pure predators. They see a woman with kids, a woman with young daughters, and they get with that woman just so they can groom their daughters. Men like that need to be castrated. They need to dig a big old hole, fill it with tons of poisonous snakes, and dump his ass in there. There's no redemption, there's no excuse for being that type of creep, that type of monster. He raised and groomed that child, planning all along to make this move when she turned 18. Aouru Billahi, so many modern males are pure devilish. Please tell me why you in my room. I come to check on you. See what, what you doing. I don't need you to come check on me. I ask you to please stay out of my room. I'm just leaving church. I want to have my thoughts to myself, please. Well, it's Father's Day, and I figure you would be out and going to the kitchen and cook. But you I want you, you and got in and, and cook something. You want me to cook for who? For me. Cook for you? Yes. Are you me. serious? Yes, I'm serious. Are you serious? Yes, 
I am. Not only you didn't get me nothing for Mother's Day, you cheated on me. After 11 years, you upset the house and you quit your job. Well, I think they let you go and you want me to get up, get in the kitchen and cook for you? Yes, Alicia. Is something wrong with you? No, there's nothing wrong with me. Day Father's Day. I mean, Alicia can get out to bed and fix it. I don't have home. to get I've been out to bed and I've been time with my kids. I've been to church. And you know, when I've been to church, I prayed. But I surely did forgot to pray for you. Well, I prayed for you. Well, listen, yo, yo, thank you. But let me tell you something. I can start praying for you now. I can start praying for you in this room, or I can pray for you on your way to the emergency room. I advise you nicely as I could to get out of my room. Five, four, you know what? Sorry. three, Me and the kids will go get Domino's two, I know he did not say cook for Father's Day. I'm telling you this, this bum ass, this when a woman's fed up, there ain't nothing you can do about it. He cheated on her after 11 years together. He was probably cheating on her the entire time, but just now got caught and is now unemployed. So she's taking care of the bills. He should be thankful that he still has a place to stay. He had the nerve to come into her room after getting caught cheating on her and ask her to cook him something for Father's Day. The entitlement of modern men is beyond crazy. How are you gonna cheat on a woman, then go in her room and ask her to cook you something for Father's Day? She moved you out of the master bedroom. You're probably sleeping on the couch or a guest room, yet you ask her to cook you something. <laughs> like everything's all peachy king. I know a lot of men are gonna disagree with me on this, but part of being a good father is being a good husband. Your sons look up to you on how to treat a woman, how to love a woman, how to provide for a woman. And your daughters look up to you and your example on how a woman should be loved, how a woman should be treated, how a woman should be provided for. You are setting the tone in your household and for your sons and daughters. Cheating on and disrespecting their mother is not being a good father. There is so much more to being a father than just providing, than just paying bills. As I said earlier, he's lucky that he's even still in the house, that he's not one of those dudes walking down the side of the street carrying a black trash bag over his shoulder. <laughs> when we see a man carrying a black trash bag, we all know what happened. <laughs> he's sending my bro the picture. He knew that's between me and him, so he's going to tell me his honest opinion. And if they do you honestly you think for one second that a, a, a man thinks that way just because you're a man? Yeah, all men do that. What no, are you talking about? I, I just don't believe that. That's, all men no. do that. Your father probably did that to your mother. And your I, I, and I can almost guarantee you right now, you can ask your friend, did they share my photos with anyone else? No, and I guarantee they're going to say yes. They or you're going to find bro. out later on down the, the line. The same way they send me pictures of their girl. You know, like, I'm not okay with this. I do not respect what you've done. I really take that as complete disrespect to me. How is that disrespect? Because I did not. I did not. I did not. I did not. I did not not I'm proud give of you my, you. But I didn't give you my but, permission. But if I didn't give you permission. But if I didn't give you together, permission. But if I, but I, I didn't give you I, permission. If I don't put you together on social media, you won't care because we're together. So what's the difference between you, you and I? So, right. So you and okay, I. So I'm pretty sure you. you're going to tell me in advance I'm putting, I'm putting a picture of us. This is beyond foul. She took some pictures of herself just for him. And I'm guessing those pictures were compromising or intimate pictures that she was trusting him with, expecting him to keep those private. And like the foul, dishonorable piece of crap he is, he shared those compromising pictures, those intimate pictures that she took just for him with all of his friends. Wow, man. The amount of vile disrespect that you have to have for that woman to embarrass her and expose her like that. That's just beyond foul. That's unthinkable. 
And I can only imagine how embarrassed she is. Part of being a man, of being the king that you all claim to be, of wanting the woman to be submissive to you, is creating a space of trust, love, and safety for her is making her feel secure in your leadership and your ability to love, protect, and honor her so that she feels comfortable enough lowering her guard and be submissive to you. Modern men are incapable of providing that type of space, of providing that type of leadership. And it's only dirty, greasy, dishonorable pieces of crap like that dude that are spouting this submissive nonsense. Who knows how many people he sent her pictures to and how many people that his friends are going to send those pictures to. Maybe those pictures of her will end up online, leaving her exposed, embarrassed, and unprotected. Modern men fail at every aspect of being a man and then wonder why women choose the bear, why women are avoiding men like the plague. Every single time a woman decides to go out on a limb and trust a modern man, it doesn't end well for her. I'm going to end this video here. If you enjoyed the video, please do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment below. All those things help a small growing channel like mine grow faster. And as a content creator, I really love interacting with y'all and reading your comments. So if anything I said in this video, or if any of the clips I showed triggered you or made you feel some type of way, let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it. Last but not least, my new book, The Burden of Blood, A Generational Curse, is out. Go on to Amazon or Audible and get your copy today. I promise you won't be disappointed. All that being said, know your angry biracial loves you. I appreciate you, and most of all, be safe. It's a-